All right, welcome everyone to day six of Advent of Code. I am already getting behind. Question just released, so let's just get right into it. As your flight approaches the regional airport where you'll switch to a much larger plane, customs de declaration forms are distributed to the passengers. The forms are a series of 26 yes or no questions marked with A through Z. All you need to do is identify the question for which anyone in your group answers yes. Since your group is just you, this doesn't take very long. However, the person sitting next to you seems to be inexperienced at, uh, to experience a luggage barrier and ask, oh, language barrier and ask if you can help them. For each of the people in their group, you write down the questions for which they answer yes, one per line. For example, A, B, okay. In this group, there are six questions in which everyone answers yes. A, B, C, Y, and X. Okay, um, duplicate doesn't matter. Another group asks for your help, then another and eventually you collect answers from every group on the plane or puzzle inputs. Each group's answers are separated by a blank line. And within each group, each person's answers are on a single line. Okay. This represents answers from f this list represents answers from five groups. The first group contains people who answered yes to three questions A, B, C. The second group contains people the people. Um, okay. So what we need to do is first grab our puzzle input. So it seems like we're just going to be kind of doing a lot of zoring here. Um, let's dump it into here. Okay. So it's gonna be kind of like the uh, is it day four that had these weird split lines. Um, in this example, the sum of these counts is 3 plus 3, so we're just adding up everything together. Okay. So, in this we need to go through each one, we need to kind of keep track of what everyone's answered. Um, basically we're just zoring everything. Um, so this should be pretty easy actually, so let's just go through in each input. So we're going to, when we start solving, we're going to have a list. As, sorry about the train that's about to go by here, chat. So we're going to have a list of characters here. So there's going to be um, yes to. I'm just going to call it yes to. So this is then an array list here. So we have a bunch of characters here. And now we need to know if the input... Whoops. Sorry. We need to do a for loop on each line of input that we got. Inputs. And so first we need to know is we need to know if S is empty. I'm gonna trim it just to be safe. If it is empty. If it is empty, then we need to process what we've already put into our yes to list, but we're not gonna start there. We're first gonna start with just dumping things into there. So assuming it's not an empty line, we are going to be on a line like this. What we need to do is we need to break up each individual character and add each individual character to our list. So that's gonna be pretty easy to do. So we're just going to have to do then a um, for char c and s dot char array to char array, and then we just do a simple check that yes to contain c. If it does not, go ahead and dump this into yes to. Good there. So now we have this all being processed. We are dumping in every single character that's not already in the list into here. Now what we need to do is when we reach a blank line, we need to count up how many are in our yes to. So we need to do int count is going to be yes to dot size, whoops, size. And then we need to add this to a running total, correct? Yes, add this to a running total. So we'll just have an int total equals zero. And we're just going to have total plus equals count and then yes to clear. That way we are set it up for the next round of inputs. And at the very end, nice little system out print line of part one. And let's print out our total. Go ahead and run this. Kick up. 6391 is our input, but it's not right. Okay, hold on. Let's see, did I mess something up here? Uh, one person answered yes to three questions. Uh, combined, they answered yes to three questions, A, B, C. Uh, so it's three plus three plus three plus one plus one. For each group, you counted the number of questions to which anyone answered yes. What was the sum of these counts? Did I miss something? I zored this together, so I'm only adding C if yes to does not contain it. Um. Am I missing something here? Okay, so I went through, I know what I'm doing wrong here. I'm missing the very last one. Um, 
we are going through this, but the last line isn't an empty line, so we are missing the very last input, um, which is not going to be count, which is going to be just this. So when we finish this for loop, we've gone to the bottom, but we haven't actually added on the last uh, of the inputs, like this in this case is B here. We're not counting that B, so that's why I'm missing numbers because I'm missing the end. There we go. I could have gotten that much quicker, but of course. All right, um, part two. After you finish the last script's customs query, you notice that you misread one word in the instructions. You don't need to identify the question to which anyone answered yes, you need to identify the question to which everyone answered yes. Okay, so same thing. So now instead of an or here, we need, basically as we go through, we can just, we only need to uh, add. So we need to first have a boolean up here to know if it's the first person because it's the first person we, we do want to add this yes to um so by default first is going to be true and then when we get to here first is going to be triggered back to false but an empty line we're putting first back to true and so what we're going to do is if they're the first person we are going to add the character to the list we just just add it in if they are not the first person, what we need to do is we only want, so else if yes to contains, actually, sorry, if yes to contains C, or sorry, if it does not contain C, we want to remove it because they have not answered yes, so therefore it's not being added together. So we want to do yes to, um, Oh, but wait, I'm doing this wrong. I want to go through each of the yes to and only keep the ones that are there. Okay. Um, we need So we need to actually and these together. Um, so hold on. So we actually, what we need to do is we want to and these two lists together. So we actually want, instead of doing this, let's move this here. Um, here we will keep this for loop, make things easier. Otherwise, we want to do a list of, we want to kind of reverse this, um, but we're going to do a list of characters again. This is going to be the um, answered, um, I'm going to call this answered. And we're going to set this equal to a new array list and we're going to dump in this. Um, oh, sorry, it's not this. It's uh, arrays or it's collections. I thought it's uh, arrays as list. There we go. Maybe not. Uh, oh, it wants to be a char. Um, okay, uh, blinking on this. So we actually want to go through, ignoring this right now, um, we want to go through every char C in actually yes to, and we want to know um, if it is in the list, so I'm actually gonna have to do a small trick here. So the trick here is whenever you're trying to loop over something and remove stuff as you loop through it. So in this case, loop through our yes to and remove things as we as they are not contained in the what the, uh, the next person answered, we can simply just go backwards. So we can start our i at yes to size minus one, and then go until i is um, while i is greater than or equal to zero. I minus minus that way we can remove stuff out of here and still be okay and not have a concurrent modification errors and stuff. Um, anyway, so when we get to here is we want if um, yes to uh, get I. So if this char, you need to know if this contains it. So this is where I wanted this to be in a, uh, a list to make my life easier. Um, I don't know why I am blanking. Let me just do this uh, array list oh there's no easy way to do this is there i forgot um uh da, 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 so string trim k okay. so there's no easy way to go about this so all right fine we need char 
c is going to be yes to get i. I'm just going to do this the old fashioned way of literally having then a boolean contains is false and a for char c2 in this if c2 equals c contains is true. Otherwise, if we get to the very bottom here, if contains is false, we need to remove, yes to remove i. Okay, and so now at the end we have everything set up here, one too many of that, there we go. And now we should be good, why are you complaining? Oh, yeah, right, we can just simply uh, make our life easier. It's going to complain because it wants us to break here. We don't have to, but whatever. Okay, so now if we run this, we should get a much smaller number. Plug this in as our answer. And there we go. Okay. The second part there was a lot of me trying to do this quickly, but, like, trying to figure out the best way to do it. Um, I, it wasn't that I couldn't understand. It was just that I was kind of struggling a bit to um, get everything together if that makes sense and yes this so this question it was actually much easier than the past days this is a pretty um newer if you're newer to programming this is definitely a good question for you it's not nothing too difficult um at all but anyways let's go through and let me explain what this question is how i did it and uh kind of explain my solution so for part one we're given this big long input of characters basically each character is representing a question and the person who answered that question saying yes. So in this case, this person said yes to questions M, X, U, W, and H. And what we do is each group has a certain amount of uh, people in the group, doesn't one to whatever. And the way that the groups are separated in this is that there is a blank line. So here is one group, here's another group, here's another group, so on and so forth. So what we need to do is we need to parse this out and figure out what questions the group has answered yes to anyone in the group. So in this case, M, X, U, W, um, and it looks like everyone answered the same one, so it doesn't matter if multiple ones answered yes to the question, it's just any one of the group answered yes to the question, it counts for the entire group. So what we do is we simply read line by line, and we take each character in and we add it to a list. If it's already in the list, we don't add it, we just add individual instances to the list. So in this case, we go through all these five, we've added M, X, U, W, and H to our list, and we get to here. We hit the blank line, we know we have hit the end of the group, so let's process what is in our list. In this case, what we do is it's this so we've hit an empty line what we do is we simply just take the counts and actually we can make this a little bit cleaner uh we're just one line we simply count up however many people or how many questions people said yes to increment that in our total which is here and then we continue on we reset our yes our, our yes to uh, array which is all the questions people said yes to we clear that out and we continue and what we do is we do that for every single group we can just count so k k we've added now t and l so now at the end of this we have k t and l in our list we've hit a blank line k t and l that's three total add that to our running total and continue on clear out the list and keep going we go through the whole way and we get to here we've done don't forget to add this group because currently our code only does the addition or um, summation of stuff once we hit the end of our list so we need, or we hit a blank line, sorry. So in this case, we do need to remember to do this once more, even though there's no blank line at the end. That's why I missed it the first time around. And then that was part one. For part two, only thing we need to do is we have to change, and instead of, be, of it being an or, so a one person answering yes to the question being true, now everyone in the group has to answer yes to that question in order for it to count towards the total. So what we do here is we still have our yes to, but now we have a concept of the first person answer because the first person answer by default an and for one person is always true. So we just, if it is the first person answering for the group, we just simply add everything to a list. We just add it, we're done. If it's not the first person list, what we have to do is we have to take what that person's answered. We have to go through each of what they answered and, or so we have to go through each of what's currently in the list and see if that person has answered the same, yes to the same question. If any of those in our current list that person did not say yes to, we remove it because they did not say yes, so therefore the and is a false. And we just keep doing that through all the people in the group until we again we hit a blank line. We do the same logic we did before, we count up our yes to list, clear it out, we, in this case now we reset the first person and we increment our total. 
and at the very end same thing don't forget to increase your total again and then output the total and there we go so technically this is now part two but at any rate there we go problem solved uh wasn't too bad hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys all tomorrow for part seven peace out